so now what we want to do is when somebody clicks a contact instead of seeing a number there we should see the actual uh, person that they want to talk to all right so to do that will be quite easy so we have to deal with the chats here okay this is the section we have to look at so we have to read from the database to know who that user is so instead of my data here um, let me duplicate this i'm simply going to say user id is equal to that okay great so but sometimes maybe it's not set or something so uh, it will always be set so i'll just leave it there okay so we already did read from uh, the database to get contacts so we're just going to copy from contacts.php so this is the thing here i'm going to copy this part right copy come to chats and paste like so so here we're going to say sqs select all from users where user id is equal to let's use my id right there so that we are consistent okay so my id is equal to so that my id limit one we just want to get one okay and since this is uh, provided by the user we can't trust this information so what we need to do is say um, what do i say here let me say uh, ar short for array and say user id something like this is equal to that now the reason i'm putting this in an array is because i want to put it here so that it, we use prepared statements because this data cannot be trusted it's coming through the internet so you have to sanitize everything you bring through the internet can trust nobody these days okay so user id there so instead i'm going to get this one here oh actually no what i need to do is just say user id so i will say user id i don't need these parentheses the, the, the thing is here user id the commas I, that's what i wanted to say so select all from users where user id is not equal to user id so this user id will be taken from there through the prepared statement there so database read good so now we just need to check if this returned thing is an array so we're going to say if is array uh -huh. then it means uh, user found else user node found so we can give the we can give an error message there so which is right here conveniently we can just drag this here like so type is error okay so that contact uh, was not found great that contact was not found okay goody 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 and now uh let me mute this particular thing okay so i need to copy this one here let me remove the die so we don't need it here anymore so let me cut this in fact let me move all of this up here when the user is found okay uh -huh. so user was found so i think instead let me use result here it makes more sense so result is equal to that so result result here we set result to the first result because remember that this is returning 
uh, an array of objects. So we just want to get the first one. And why do we need this here? We do not. We just need to return something. So for now, I'm just going to say my data is equal to, of course, this has to come first. My data is equal to result. Let's try username instead. Result username. So if we can find the name, it means we have found the, uh, the contact. So we'll return that instead. And then the data type is going to be chats. Uh -huh. Great. I think this is it. So let's try again. Contacts. And then I'm going to go to Mary. Oh, look at that. Uh oh, so I click on somebody, but then I get something else. Hmm. Interesting indeed. Look at that. That's uh, weird, to say the least. Okay, so select all from users where user ID is not equal to that. Limit one. Oh, this is the problem. I'm saying not equal to instead of saying equal to. Oh, great. So it was selecting anybody but the selected user. My bad. So this should work now. So let's go back to contacts. No need to refresh. Click John. There is John. Click Mary. And there is Mary. Good. So now let's actually see Mary's face or something. So let me go back to contacts. And I know down here, this is where the contact actually is. So I can simply copy this section right here. And it's going to work fine for chats as well. So right around here, I'll do that. That's my data right there. Uh -huh. So my data is going to do that. So now uh, there's no need to put this on click event listener. And no need to put the user ID here. And then we can change the uh, ID also to, let's try something like active contact, active underscore contact. Okay, so let me refresh this, click on contacts and click on chat. Oopsie, what has happened? John, hmm. Is probably an error here so let me go to the console okay so we are not receiving proper JSON and that's probably because we are using uh, we got an error so we're using raw instead of um, ah, instead of result so we're using raw and also we don't know what this image is so let's go back to what's this contacts mm -hmm. This is where we copied this, but we forgot to copy this part as well. That's important. So let's go back right above there. Let me paste it. Okay, it's important to know the image. So we're going to save the gender is male. They are female there. And then let's use result instead of row. Or maybe I should have just set it to row just to avoid all these problems. Uh, so let me copy this raw, put it here, and I think we're good to go. Refresh, go to contacts, click back there. Still, we are having a problem. Hmm. What could be the problem? Raw is equal to that, raw image, raw image, image, fire exists, my data. Oh. That's because we are putting a concatenation here. My data is not set anywhere else. So let's remove that dot there. That should solve the problem. Contacts, click on the contact, and there we go. Too big, right? So to sort this problem out, let's go to, because we've changed this to active contact. Let me copy that. Let's go to index.php and let's go right here where we say contacts and we have contact and contact img so let me duplicate both of these mm -hmm. so instead of just contact we're going to have active contact like so 
So the refresh, contacts, click there, and there we go. Go back to contacts. Click on John, there we go. Contacts, Mary, and there we go. Okay, so it should look a bit different because here now we are chatting with this person. So what I wanna do is reduce this image to something like 70 pixels. And then I'm going to tell it to float to the left. Mm -hmm. There's no need for display inline, vertical, nope. It should go all the way to the other side. And then also I don't need this break tag here. What I need is a margin for back to index.php. I just need a margin for my image, 10 pixels. Okay, so let's try that again. Refresh, contacts, Mary, there we go. Okay, so I want the name on the other side. So why isn't the name coming here? Hmm, let's go to index.php. Uh, oh, that's the thing. We have a width, a limit for width. So let me remove that. Let me put a height of 70. Like so. Refresh, contacts, John. Ah, there we go. So John. All right, so we're going to style this uh, in a better way. Uh, also, let me just try and add a border real quick. Solid thin AAA, like that. And uh, what else? Padding, let's add some padding. Uh, 10 pixels. Uh -huh. Margin here, let's move it to five pixels. Mm -hmm. So let me refresh, contacts. Mary, there we go. So Mary is right there. Mm -hmm. So I can improve this a little bit more. So why is the margin? Okay, let's we put five here. Let's see what else needs changing. Mm. Uh, we can put, let's go to chats.php at the top here, just before this, we can say now, chatting with and then we do that and put a break cool mm -hmm. now chatting with john why so much here let's go back to index.php maybe i should remove this padding oh sorry it's because i hadn't refreshed the page Mm -hmm. There we go. Now chatting with Mary. Mm. Let me make it smaller as well. Try that. Refresh. Okay, so this is all just uh, tweaking stuff just to make sure that it looks uh, the way we want. And I don't want the background to be... Let me add a background image. Oh, image. Uh, sorry, background color. I'm going to just say E E E something like that just a little bit let's see if that works oops that was way too much but it's okay we can simply change the color to black to hush 444 something like this i think that's uh, much better contacts there Okay, so now what I want to do before I go is to log out and log in as John and then change the profile image. So log out, log in as John at, at yahoo.com, password. Okay, welcome John. So let's go to John's settings and right here I want to drag and drop John's image. So... This is John right here, drag and drop. There we go. 
So if I go to contacts now, I can see there are these people with an image there. I can chat with this one. This is awesome. All right, so we continue in the next video.